Good morning. Let's give God thanksgiving and praise for the manna today, for our daily bread, straight from the throne room, straight from the Father into our minds and our hearts. Father, we just thank you for the word. We thank you, Father, that you sent the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. We just bless you, Father, for this word in Jesus' name. We bless the word of the living God. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over my family. Jesus is Lord over my mind. Jesus is Lord over my whole house. Jesus is Lord over my nation. And Jesus is Lord over the nations of the earth. I call him wonderful to my family. I call him counselor to my family. I call him mighty God to my family. I call him everlasting father to my family and I call him prince of peace. And of his government over my house, there shall be no end. Today, I hear and receive the word of God my ears are opened, my eyes are open to see, and the seed of the, the incorruptible seed of the Word of God that lives and abides forever enters into my heart right now and grows up immediately and produces a hundredfold. Hear this word today. Hear it like you've never heard it before. You know, God has been so gracious to give us the revelation of the time frame of God, the time that we can expect God to be there. And so the scripture is 2 Corinthians 6, 2. Behold, now is the appointed time. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, Today is the day of our salvation. So can we, as an individual, put a time limit on God? Can we believe for him to be there right now? I'm going to read you a scripture in um, Exodus chapter 5. Chapter 3, verse 13. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. I love that. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me to you. God called himself, I am. You know, there are several redemptive names for God. One is Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. Jehovah Sitkanu, I believe that's the God of righteousness. Uh, Jehovah Shema, I believe that is uh, the Lord our shepherd. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that hath that healeth us. And um, I'm not quite sure about the rest of them, but God called himself these names. There's one that's the Lord our victor, the Lord our uh, banner. And so... God has called himself these names, telling us, revealing to us who he is. But here, he tells us when he is. When he is all of these things. When he is Jehovah Rapha to us. When he is Jehovah Sidkenu to us. When he is Jehovah Shalom to us. And that's total wholeness, a bountiful supply, abundant supply of of God himself in every area, and no evil, only good, his goodness, um, Jehovah Shema. So everything that God says he is, he is. But here, 
He says, he is all of these things right now. I am. Tell them, I am sent you that he calls that his name. And you remember that Jesus said to the um, Pharisees, he said, before Abraham was, I am. He did not say bef before Abraham was, I was. He didn't, he didn't say that. He said, behold, before Abraham was, I am. So he called himself, I am. And then at one point, Jesus said, I am, and they all fell back. So I am is your God. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am your El Shaddai, your abundant supply, your breasty one. You know what the breasty one is? That is the one that is so full of, of his goodness and his gifts and his mercy and his grace. I am the almighty God, he said to Abraham. And what he said to him, he says to us, the seed of Abraham, I am the almighty God to you right now. I am the God of more than enough to you right now. I am. His name never changes. He is always the great I am. So call him that right now for the rest of your long life. Father, I thank you that you are my I am. I receive that right now in Jesus' name, that you are my I am. So this is a part of receiving from God now that we all need to take note of because, you know, this is an individual salvation. Jesus, no, Jesus didn't say this. Um, I believe it was the Holy Spirit by Paul said to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, with reverence. Work out your own salvation. You don't work out anybody else's salvation but yours. Now, you can pray and intercede for other people. But when it comes to you receiving what belongs to you, then it's up to you to take hold right now of your salvation. And you don't need anybody's help to do that because we're going to uh, go to this. In Mark eleven twenty three. 23, he says, you have the faith of God. How do we receive everything from God? By faith. You have the faith of God. Therefore, I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. And then in Proverbs, he says, Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth. Thou art taken with the words of thy mouth. In James, he says that the tongue sets on fire the course of nature. So it's very important that our mouth not only says what we are receiving from God, but when we are receiving it. And actually, you know, every person is putting a time frame on God. It's not that we can, we are. We're either, we, we're either saying, well, tomorrow, or the first of the month, or when my income tax comes in. And that's not even trusting in God. That's trusting in um, what you see in the natural. So I've heard people say about a loved one, you know, when they get to the end of their rope, they're going to come to the Lord. No, no, no. Don't say that. Don't say that. All it takes is for God to draw a person and to call them by name. I love this prophecy. He says, I was found of them that sought not after me. So all you have to do 
is just say, Father, in Jesus' name, I claim that person's salvation, that they receive you as Lord, Savior, and lover of their soul, and their provider, and their everything, in Jesus' name. And that they are filled with all the fullness of God. And I thank you that it is done now in Jesus' name. Did he not say, ask anything in my name and I will do it? So you are actually putting a time limit on God, on receiving from him, by putting off in the future and by saying, well, maybe next year we'll get a new house. Maybe in a couple of years when we get some of our bills paid down, we'll get a new car. Maybe when um, we get more financially stable, we'll do this or that. No, 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 no. God is the great I am today. Take your inheritance. The Lord showed me years ago when he first began revealing this to me, and he gave me just a great example. He said, you always plan the meals for everybody in your household and you set it on the table. You always let them know what time you're going to have dinner. Most of the time it was right around five. I tried to keep everybody on schedule. You know, a schedule and um, being being consistent is very good. It's very good to have a, a schedule uh, and it produces um, security in, in your family. So I always tried to have it ready around five, but I would let them know dinner's going to be on the table at five or 5.30, whatever time it was. Well, as they got older, then the older ones would have other other things to go to, other activities. And so they might come in 30 minutes later, 45 minutes later, but the meal was set on the table. May I remind you that David said by the Holy Spirit, he prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Saints, Jesus has already prepared the table. He's already laid everything on the table. It's up to you and to me to go in and eat it, partake of it. And how do we do that? What saith it? The word is nigh me, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, healed, delivered, made whole, receive all of your promises. For with the heart man believes, but with the mouth confession is made unto your promises. Confession, your confession of faith, of saying, I have this now. So take, well, let me, let me add this. Everything that Jesus purchased for you through him going to the cross, every part of that, is your redemption, every part of it. It's already yours. Nothing he did is a reward for something you do. Everything he gave, everything he did was a gift to every one of us. And so, uh, since it has already been done and it is a gift and he has spread the table and the table is full, just like David said, I will take the cup of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. And so it's very important that you put in your mouth now, 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 immediately, suddenly, now, and not put off in the future with your words because you're snared with the words of your mouth. Today is your day of salvation. So today... All of my family is coming over. I'm so looking forward to it. And we're going to celebrate the love of Jesus, his grace, his mercy. We're going to celebrate Jesus. But you know, we're going to celebrate by giving gifts. And that is just one of my greatest pleasures is to 
buy gifts and to bless them. And so they're all coming over uh, this evening. We're going to have dinner and then we're going to, uh, then I'm going to give them their gifts. And I love to take my time with it and not just um, everybody go at it once. So I kind of categorize the groups and we start with the youngest. But you know, I've got the gifts already. They're all around the tree. Everyone has gifts. Everyone. But you know what? They have to reach out and take it. I'm going to hand it to them. But I can hand it to them. But then they have to reach out and take it with their hands. And then they have to take it home to enjoy it. We have the hand of faith. In 2 Chronicles, I believe it's 2 Chronicles, he said to, God said to King Asa, he said, be ye strong therefore, and let, let not your hand be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. So this is the way the Holy Spirit brings it to me. Be ye strong in faith therefore, and let not your faith hand be weak, for your work of faith shall be rewarded. Your work of believing shall be rewarded. So we take God's promises with the hand of faith by believing in our heart, confessing with our mouth, saying, this is mine, and this is mine right now. And let me remind you that the Holy Spirit said to fear lest any promise being left you of entering into his rest, you come short of it. So take all of the promises. You know, I expect my family to take everything that I bless them with home. I don't expect them to leave anything under the tree. So God is expecting you to come in and take all of the blessings, all of the promises, and he's expecting you to take them now. So you do that. Receive the anointing that breaks every yoke. You know, one thing, I'm going to minister this to you as well. One thing the Lord revealed to me recently is that um, Jesus was rejected. Do you know that rejection is from the enemy? That spirit of rejection. But you know what? He gave us the spirit of adoption, the spirit of acceptance. He said, you will come up with acceptance on my altar. I have accepted you. You are accepted in the blood. But you know, you have to receive that by faith. You cannot do, you cannot do what Jesus did on your own. It all has to be received by faith. And let me minister this to you as well. In Isaiah, he says that all of thy children, and that's all of God's children, are taught of the Lord, shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children in righteousness. Will they be established? They shall be far from oppression, far from depression, far from oppression of any kind, for, thy, for they shall not fear, and terror, for it shall not come near them. Again, that's a promise for you to believe and confess Put your name in there, your family's name in there, because the only way you don't make the promises come to pass, you receive them by faith, and then God causes them to come to pass. Well, receive today. Eat. Eat from the table. Eat. Drink from the well that never runs dry. Receive now every gift that God has given to you and purchased for you through Jesus Christ. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God for this word. Thank God for this word. And thank God his word works.